We're here at the EC Diner with Dante Scott. Uh, Dante, there's a reason that we came out here, and uh, it's because something happened to your family. What happened? Uh, flood well, happened a couple weeks ago, and just been trying to make money to help my family out in these tough times. Uh, how's that effort been going? It's been going really good. A lot of people have donated, and, and I appreciate the people who have donated and just uh, helping my family out in uh, these difficult times. Uh, if somebody wants to make a donation on GoFundMe, uh, where do they head? Uh, they can uh, look at my Instagram and, or look at Coach Turgeon, Twitter, or whatever. It's right underneath my bio and my Instagram, mm -hmm. uh, at Dante's underscore uh, four, uh, D-O-N-T-A underscore four uh, on Instagram. And then I'm pretty sure a lot of people have Coach Turgeon's uh, info, so they can find it there. So in continuing our chat, I, I take it you've been playing a lot of ball and you brought some of the guys with you, and we'll get to them in a moment, but but who all made the trip from College Park out to Delicate City with you today? Uh, Hakeem Hart, uh, Fats Russell, and E.A. E.A. Uh, e. Well, he's yeah. famous enough yeah. that we don't need the rest of the yeah, Eric Ayala uh, in that. How they, they, they've been uh, help, uh, real helpful just uh, getting me to this time and uh, helping me push through on the court. How long have you known Fats? I knew Fats since I was a freshman in high school, mm -hmm. and uh, ever since then we've just been uh, growing, growing up and with each other and just getting to know each other better. Are you the same age? Uh, no, he is. He was a junior when I was a, a freshman. Uh, cool. So he's 23, I'm uh, 20, 21 in December. Did you ever play against him? Uh, we played against him last year. Uh, well, I meant in high school. But oh, no, not in high school. I mean, yeah. we went to the same high school, so. I oh, mean, I didn't know that. Yeah, so, but we never uh, really played against each other because we went to the same high school. But yeah. last year, we played against each other at uh, yeah. Maryland, so yeah. uh, Maryland versus uh, Rhode Island. So yeah. Cool. And then Hakeem Hart? Uh, I knew Hakeem since I was also a freshman in high school or, like, even younger. Mm -hmm. We uh, knew each other since AU days and just growing up and just being around him and his family and his uh, family being around me and my coach mm -hmm. and uh, our coach and uh, my family it was yeah. just growing up uh, just knowing him. You look in, in this long shot, I can't really get a long shot, you're a little too tall, but you look like you're in excellent shape, you lost some weight. Yeah, so uh, just working with Kyle, uh, our strength and conditioning coach, I've been able to knock off at least 20, 25 pounds of weight mm -hmm. and just uh, got my body fat down uh, mm -hmm. from uh, 15% of fat yeah. and uh, just building muscle. Yeah. And I'm um, still working on gaining a little bit lower, yeah. but it's a chip every day, so. Nice. So what's that do to your game so far? You feel uh, lighter? I, I, uh, I guess I feel the same, but it just makes my body look nicer. So, uh, <laughs> but I, I still move, I'm still strong. Yeah. And, uh, that's not that, so. Uh, so just because people don't really get to, to talk to players, even I don't really get to talk to you. What's the best basketball game you think you've ever seen? Uh, been a part of or seen? Just seen. What's the best? Uh, pro, college, high school, doesn't matter. But if you said, what's the best I've basketball? Seen? It probably was one of our games because I don't really watch too much like college yeah. or pros unless it's like the playoffs yeah. because I feel like they don't play as hard unless it's like the playoffs <laughs> unless you got to win something. So, yeah. But uh, it's probably our game in uh, college. We play uh Indiana at home, yeah. and uh, and uh, Ant he uh, came down last last shot and just yeah. nailed it and just yeah. took us uh, took us home with that one. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite movie? Favorite movie is uh, Avengers Endgame. Uh, yeah, it was a uh, it was a tough one. A lot, a lot, a lot of the stars yeah. died, and I was like, ah, I'd be right here, knowing yeah. that I watched all the yeah. all the uh, Marvels and all that yeah. other stuff. So. Favorite musical artist. Uh, I'm I'm really into like old school or like basically like just singers with like good vocals and stuff like that. So uh, basically like uh, Give Me On or if I'm listening to rap, I listen to Lil Baby or or like even old school, old school. I listen to like probably like I don't know, just like Boys to Men, Temptation type dish, like right. stuff like that. So. All right. Well, I knew the last couple you said yeah. so. That all right, cool. What do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, what everybody 
Uh, I always want to be when they uh, play basketball. Yeah. Uh, a professional athlete, uh, mm -hmm. just making money off that, and just. Uh, but my secondary plan was to be a vet because mm -hmm. uh, I really like animals and I wanted to uh, do something with animals. But with my time restriction, I kind of wasn't able to do it. So. Mm. Interesting. All right. So, for what do you see for yourself? The only Maryland basketball question I ask. What do you see for yourself for this upcoming season? I just see for myself and my team, mm -hmm. uh, just great, uh, great things coming. A lot of great guys, and uh, I'm shaping my body to be able to like be in that shape and condition to just be able to play and just uh, be a leader. So uh, it's just what I've been doing, taking up roles of being a leader and just pushing my guys every day. All right, so for those who want to help out on the GoFundMe, you can go to D-O-N-T-A underscore four on Instagram, or you can visit Coach Turgeon's Twitter page and you can find the GoFundMe uh, either of those places. Hey, have a great season. Nice catching up with you. Thank you.